life is a nightmare Man, that's the way it's dream Life is a nightmare Welcome to Today in Horrible History, your daily moment of historical misfortune. For February 20th, 2022, we head back to February 20th, 1618 on the Julian calendar. On that date, one man's pain in the ass became a pain in the ass for all of Europe. Many of you are probably hoping that I misspelled Enigma. Alas, I have not. We're discussing Philip William, Prince of Orange's Enema. A trip up the Hershey Highway. A couple definitions and explanations are in order. First, recall that there was a belief in medieval and early modern European medicine that medicine was an attempt to balance the four humors, or four body liquids, and their corresponding moods and temperatures. This is, of course, all harmful nonsense, and in the attempt to balance humors, usually more by taking out than putting in, doctors of the day did massive damage by bloodletting, purging, and generally dehydrating people who were already sick or started healthy and declined. There isn't a whole lot of info in English specifically on what real or imagined malady the Prince of Orange suffered from back in February 1618, But whatever it was, the doctor thought a nice deep enema was the cure. And deep it must have been, as we read the prince's intestines were damaged by a good vigorous enema session, causing the spread of sepsis, and by February 20th, death. The House of Orange became as a regional royal house attached to the Orange Principality in southern France, But by the early 17th century, when we're talking about, these royals had become detached from there and moved to control much of what is present-day Netherlands, Belgium, and nearby areas of northern France. The region was moving toward Protestantism and was a focus of potential conflict between Catholic and Protestant Europe. The color orange has actually become the color of Dutch royalty and is broadly associated to this day with European Protestantism. Prince Enema had been a Catholic, but doesn't seem to have made any moves to, if you'll pardon the pun, inflame the Low Countries. Upon his childless death, lacking a direct heir, a Dutch Protestant military leader and Stadtholder named Maurice, became Prince Maurice in assuming control of the House of Orange. Maurice entangled the Dutch in the complexities of the many entangled German city-states, which existed in the centuries before unified Germany with their varied Protestant and Catholic alliances. Maurice is pushing too hard for Dutch interests in a region called Bohemia, resulted in a devastating multi-generational series of wars known as the Thirty Years' War, a cataclysm in which between 4.5 million and 8 million people were killed, with some areas of what's now Germany having had their populations decline by half. So much for balancing those humors. Bonus fun fact, the country of Mauritius, a former Dutch colony, is named after Prince Maurice. Be sure and like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Today in Horrible History. Remember that after a brief visit, the rest of your day can only seem better in comparison. Life is a nightmare And that's the way it's dream Life is a nightmare